Hello, good day. Okay, and welcome to my YouTube channel, it's Best TV. So it's another learning session, and our objective for today is to get the meaning of words using a dictionary, sorrows, and or online resources. And you're going to learn about dictionary, sorrows, and online resources. So what do you use to find the meaning of words? First, we have the dictionary. Second, we have the thesaurus. And the last one, we have the online apps to get the meaning of words. Those are the online sources. A dictionary is a reference book that contains alphabet and arranged words with their meanings, often with information about grammar and pronunciation. And in dictionary, we have that so-called guide words. Okay. So this is what you can see in the dictionary. So we have the guide words there, the entry words, the pronunciation, parts of speech, and definition as demonstrated by the arrow. Okay, so try to observe the arrow. So we have the guide words there, the first word and the last word of the entry words. The parts of speech being used, the definition of a word, and the correct pronunciation. So, Cyrus is a book that gives the synonyms and antonyms of a word. Aside from synonyms and antonyms, a Cyrus also gives the meaning and parts of a parts of speech of a word. So, if you are in trouble of synonyms and antonyms, just have your Cyrus, and you can find the antonyms and synonyms of that certain word. And the last one, we have the online resources, web pages and documents on the internet that provide useful information, while an online resources is typically data and educational in nature, any support software available online can also be considered a resource. So as you can see, we have that Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome, Opera Mini, Edge, Internet Explorer, and many other online resources. So let's try. Okay, below you see sets of guide words from a dictionary. The page number is written in the center. Answer the questions that follow. Okay, so you can play and post the video if you want. Okay, so these are the questions. So I have a note there. You can play and post the video if you want. Play backward to see the guide words. And also wait for further instructions of your teacher on how you're going to answer that and, and on how you're going to submit your work. Did you understand? Yeah! Perfect, children. So children, here's your another task. Choose the pseudonym or antonym. Write the letter of the correct answer. So I guess you already know what type of resources you are going to use with that. Okay, again. Take note of the instructions coming from your teacher on how you're going to answer that and on how you're going to submit your work. Okay? Perfect. So here is your assignment for today's learning session, children. Find the meaning of the following words and use it in a sentence. Swan, you have dance. Two, choke. Three, yell. Four, invade. And five, chaos. Hey, children. I hope you will do all your tasks for today's learning session and keep safe. I hope to see you again. Bye-bye.